Greetings there people of YouTube, along with hopefully a few people in particular who I'm trying to reach out to. Firstly, I'd like to say thank you for clicking on this video, it is much appreciated, I shall try to keep it as brief as I can as I understand many of you have a rather busy schedule. I am known as Essence of Ford, and me along with several other atheists have come together and created a channel in hopes to help these small time YouTube atheists get their videos and their messages out and expand their individual subscriber base at the same time. The channel I am on about is called The Atheist Hub and works on some very basic principles. Any atheist at all, anywhere, can send their videos in a message to us asking for a review and also tell us whether they'd like a full video upload or a segment of it uploaded. If it is a segment, they also send the time frame for what they want. The next time a member of the board gets on, they watch it and judge whether or not to upload it. If it is uploaded, each video is linked back to the original video and the user's channel. If they do, but another member on the board disagrees, we also have a veto system put in place to sort that kind of dispute. There are five members of the board. We Sapple, Negation of P, Cheeky Vimto 08, Griffin, 9857, and finally myself, Essence of Fort. We all want to help other small-time atheists, as none of us stand as particularly big ourselves, to get more subscribers. I also plan to be doing some useful tips and tutorial videos, such as with audio, etc., eventually when the page gets enough interest. WeSapple already does a pick of the week, so currently things are pretty slow. Now here's where you, the large-time atheist, can come in. We'd be happy for any mentions, any help that you can offer in getting what we do out there. You all have so many small-time YouTube atheists subscribed to you who could benefit from this system and get their videos aired and end up with more subscribers. We hope that you will either do a call-out or mirror this video in order to spread the word. As I say, any help will be welcome at all. We've had a good response thus far. One bit of talent particularly amazes me. It's by a user named DazzleTag. I'll end the video by playing you a comedy piece he did called Jesus God News. But what amazes me more is that this guy of, you know, this talent only stands with 22 subscribers at the time I make this video. Something I'm sure you'll all agree with me is a terrible shame. Again, I'd like to thank all of you, both general viewers and the big time atheists who have taken the time to watch this video. To our subscribers, please favour and share this video with the atheist links down below to try and get them to watch our message. All relevant links shall be below as well. Thank you for listening. This is Essence of Thought. Out. Welcome to Jesus God News. I'm Xanadu Santorum. The headlines. Evolution disproved. Jesus saves heart bypass patient from death. African village destroyed by gays. The world of science was reeling today when self-professed scientist Richard Dawkins appeared to pause slightly when asked if he could disprove the existence of Jesus' teapot. The 71-year-old pro-abortionist looked confused and was clearly lost for words, dithering slightly before falling back into his usual trick of using logic and reason to clearly set out his argument. The Right Reverend Charles Chester, Bishop of Bashing on the Rod, said, Perhaps it's Dawkins who is deluded. Jesus must have had a teapot, since tea is probably served in heaven. I don't know of any teapot that wasn't designed, or at least had a creator. Are we supposed to think that a monkey gave birth to it? Imagine waking up to find that Jesus had personally intervened to save your life. Well, mother of two, Edna Drainpipe, no longer has to. The 62-year-old churchgoer endured an eight-hour operation after a heart attack in January. When asked about her experience, she said that Jesus was clearly there for me. I could sense him in the corner of the room trying to get through the throng of medical professionals who were operating on me. Mrs. Drainpipe's faith healer, Mr. Arthur Scammer, said, It's a miracle. This obviously proves the power of prayer over the sad, outdated tricks of science. Clearly, the Lord, in his infinite wisdom, has something special planned for Edna. Oh, God save us! 
These were the last words of Chief Elder Kofi Mabu in his West African village of Godtown was washed into the sea by a freak flood last week. Local people said that a cloud shaped like a rabbit with the face of Satan was clearly visible in the sky during a BBC World Service documentary on famous gay Sir Elton John. The 92-year-old village leader said, although the floods had happened every year, this one had been different. It was much wetter. It was as if Satan knew the dam had been damaged during the recent civil war and exploited it to punish us for tolerating someone called Elton John. Elton John was not available for comment. Prayer Science News now, and Dean of Sciencism at the University of the Great and Powerful Jesus, Dr. Albert Batchett, has completed his 14-year study into the link between Christianity and the winners of the National Lottery. The 13,000-page report showed that since 71.6% of Britons described themselves as Christian, Christians tended to win more than members of other religions, proving beyond reasonable doubt uh, the power of prayer. He went on to say that prayers from other religions clearly aren't working and very likely upset Jesus, hence why there is so much suffering in the world. I'm Xanadu Santorum, and now you're up to date.